suis en compagnie de Evan Gibbs, qui est directeur de recherche et développement pour les bois chez uh, Callaway Golf en Californie. Evan, uh, Callaway's launched a new uh, line this year, the Rogue Line. Talk to us mm -hmm. about it. Yeah, so I'm standing here with the new uh, Rogue Driver in Fairy Woods from, from Callaway Golf. It's our, our newest lineup. Uh, really excited about this line. Uh, it's the second generation of jailbreak technology uh, and really a focus on forgiveness. So uh, compared to Epic of last year, it's, it's got all the, all the fast ball speed, uh, but with a dramatic improvement in forgiveness. So I see that there's some different weights that's been moved around. Uh, the weight at the bottom here, what's, uh, how, how do, can we play with that? And uh, how, how the, the regular player, how does that change their... Uh, so there are actually different. three different models uh, of the Rogue Driver. There's a standard, which has a pretty neutral ball flight. Uh, it's our most forgiving, highest moment of inertia, um, most consistent, straightest. Uh, then we have a draw version, which has a weight in the heel. Uh, and this is really designed for golfers who struggle turning the ball over. They tend to slice the ball, maybe hit it a bit on the heel or have a, a you know, face angle that's open at impact. Uh, this minimizes the amount of side spin and allows them to hit a lot straighter shots. So uh, it's really great for people who, who tend to slice the ball. Uh, finally, we have a sub-zero model. This is our low spin model, and this actually has two weights that are interchangeable. Uh, so you can have the heavy weight in the back for a little bit more forgiveness, a little bit more stability or if you want the lowest spin configuration, you can put the heavy weight up front. Uh, this also is a really forgiving head, and it's not just designed for, for better players with higher head speeds, but really anyone who's trying to reduce the amount of backspin. Okay, so ba less backspin, less, less, less flight too high, flying it too yeah, high? Yeah, a lot, of, a lot more, of people more, tend more to more hit light. down on the yeah. ball, uh, create too much backspin, yeah. so this allows them to launch it high, keep the spin down, and, and pick up a lot of distance. And what's the main, last year you launched the Epic line, which, uh, what's the main difference between the Rogue and the Epic? So both feature jailbreak technology, um, which we introduced in Epic, uh, which features two titanium bars that connect the crown and the sole. Uh, this minimizes the amount of energy lost in the body during impact. Uh, and translates that energy into the face and into the ball. So it's really a ball speed technology. And we've improved it this year on Rogue. The, uh, the jailbreak rods themselves are about 25% lighter, uh, which allows us to place more weight uh, in the perimeter of that club head. And that's part of what gets the forgiveness. So again, the main difference between Epic and Rogue is, is Rogue has all the, all the ball speed advantages with jailbreak, uh, but with a lot more forgiveness. Kevin, okay, talk to us about the fairway woods uh, in the Rogue uh, category. So we're really excited about these fairy woods because it's the first time we have jailbreak technology in a fairy wood. So the technology works the same as it does on the driver. Again, you've got two, they're, they're steel rods uh, in this case, but trying to minimize the amount of, of energy loss in the body, create a more flexible face and, and have more of that energy translate into the ball. Um, so we've also got the cup face technology that we've had for a couple of years. So it's really the, the synergy between these two technologies that allow us to get uh, gains in distance that we haven't seen uh, in this category for, for a number of years. So would the Rogue be a little easier to, to get up in the air as well, or is it just more distance? So we've got a standard uh, and, and uh, sub-zero version. The standard version is designed for really uh, high launch, easy launch, uh, relatively low spin, a little easier to turn over, and then we've got the sub-zero version, uh, which is going to be a lower spin, more neutral shape ball flight. Ben c'est là-dessus que se termine l'émission au 19e. Cette semaine, la deuxième d'ailleurs de la saison 2018. À ne pas manquer la semaine.